Now we start our next section of our chapter matrix and determinant is matrix multiplication. <coughs> now last class we discuss operations on matrices, there we discuss what is addition, subtraction of two matrices. Now we start our next section is matrix multiplication. For a matrix multiplication, you have mainly we concentrate. This is a some this is a some, some difficult portion. So order is mainly considered. Suppose A is a matrix of order M by N and B is a matrix of order M by N. Then addition and subtraction are possible, but matrix multiplication is not possible here. Because for a matrix multiplication, mainly we concentrate. So suppose A is a matrix of order M by N and B is a matrix of order N by P here matrix multiplication is possible because the first matrix number of columns is N and the second matrix number of rows is N these two uh, I mean the first matrix number of columns and second matrix number of rows are equal then matrix multiplication is possible that means suppose A is a matrix of order 3 by 2 and B is a matrix of order 2 by 5. Here, matrix multiplication is possible because number of columns of first matrix and number of rows of second matrix are equal. So, matrix multiplication is possible. So, which is the only possibility for finding the multiplication. First, we consider the order. Okay, first and second matrix are order, we consider the order. Then, we check uh, that is first matrix in the number of columns, second matrix in the number of rows equal or not check here. Then, matrix multiplication is possible. Suppose we consider another matrix X is a matrix of order 5 by 2 and Y is a matrix of order 2 by 3. Then also matrix multiplication is possible because number of columns is equal to number of rows. Suppose we consider another matrix C. C is a matrix of order 4 by 1 and D is a matrix of order 1 by 2. Then also matrix multiplication is possible because number of columns is equal to number of rows. And suppose you another consider another matrix is P. P is a matrix of order 3 by 3. Uh, Q is also a matrix of order 3 by 3. This is a square matrix. These two matrices are square matrices. There also matrix multiplication is possible because number of columns is equal to number of rows. And their product, I mean the product AB is a matrix of order 3 by 5. Result of matrix order is 3 by 5. Sorry. Here the uh, XY, the matrix XY order is 5 by 3. Here CD, matrix CD order is 4 by 2. And also PQ order is 3 by 3. Okay, well, that means for a matrix, matrix multiplication, we concentrate only first matrix number of columns and second matrix number of rows are equal. Then uh, matrix multiplication is possible. That means our definition says that suppose A is a matrix of order M by N and B is a matrix of order N by P, then matrix multiplication, the product AB is a matrix of order, then the product AB is a matrix of order M by P. For uh, our definition says that A is a matrix of order M by N, B is a matrix of order M by P. Then their product AB is a matrix of order M by P. That is, for a matrix multiplication, number of columns of first matrix is equal to number of rows of second matrix. Okay, I will repeat the definition once more. Uh, a, a, a is a matrix of order M by N and B is a matrix of order N by P. Then their product AB is a matrix of order M by P. That is, for a matrix multiplication, number of columns of first matrix is equal to number of rows of second matrix. Now, we discuss how to multiply two matrices. Okay? Uh, here I can say two matrices. The first is 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, 1. And B is equal to 1, 1, 2, or 1, 1, 3, minus 1, 0, 2. Fine. Our question is fine. A, B, A to B. You know the order of the first matrix. There exists two rows and uh, there is three columns. Here also three rows and two columns. That means here number of columns of first matrix and number of rows of second matrix are equal. So here matrix multiplication is possible. 
and the result matrix order that means the a b order is 2 by 2 now discuss how to find uh, the product of these two matrices okay a into b 1 2 1 3 0 1 the addition and subtraction directly we add the corresponding elements and corresponding uh, sorry uh, directly we subtract the corresponding elements okay here uh, there is uh, some rule that is a b b correspond to 1 1 3 minus 1 and uh, 0 or 2 okay now start the multiplication first we multiply first row and first column first we multiply first row and first column that means your first row first element is 1 and corresponding element the first column element is 1 that is 1 into 1 second is plus now add this element first row first column add is sorry multiply the idea that is a rule first row first column multiply the idea corresponding elements multiply the idea okay that is first into first that is 1 into 1 then sign is plus then second element corresponding first column element is 3 that is 2 into 3 plus again third third that is 1 into 0 okay again now the uh, first row is the first column operate in the third column is the third column operate in the second row now multiply again first row with the second column that is first row first column then first row second column that is 1 into 1 corresponding elements 1 into 1 plus second into second that is 2 into minus 1 plus and third into third that is 1 into 2 that's all first row is each column multiply the idea that's all now select the second row second row is same with again second row for the first row is second row and the first column second column and the first row first column first row second column then second row first column then second row second column that's all right but then select the second row and first column 3 into 1. First row is the same method, repeat here. 3 into 1. Plus second into second, that is 0 into 3. Then 1 into 0, third into third. For first, second row, you say the first column operate here. Now, second row, second column. That is 3 into 1. 3 into our first element is 1. Second into second, that is plus 0 into minus 1. 0 and second, second element is minus. And third into third, that is 1 into 2. That's all. Therefore, I will repeat on now. First row, first column, corresponding elements, multiply the idea. That is operation. Okay? That is corresponding elements, first element, first element. Our position is easier. So first is 1 into 1. Second into second, that is 2 into 3. Plus, then 1 into 0. Second row is selected there. Third column under three column operate is selected also second row. Then first row second column that is one into one plus two into minus one plus one into two. So first row you see each column will multiply the idea. Now select second row. Second row first column that is three into one plus zero into three plus one into zero. Again one more one more column there that is uh, second row second column three into one plus zero into minus one. Then 1 into 2. Now, at this time, we get our answer. That is 1 plus 6. And 1 minus 2 minus 1. Uh, sorry, minus 2 plus 1. That is uh, plus 1. 3 plus 0. 3 plus 2. And this is 5. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That is 2 by 2. Already the, then we get the, uh, we get the order of the product. That is the product, uh, product of A and B. That is 2 by 2. We get the answer. 2 by 2 matrix. So 2 by 2 matrix. Okay. That's all. That is a, a rule. That is a basic rule for finding product of two matrices. Now we will discuss some more questions. C is equal to 1, 2, 3, 1. And D is equal to 5, 1, 4, 1, minus 1, 3. Find C. Here the order of this matrix is 2 by 2. Here the order is 2 by 3. Matrix multiplication goes law, yes, because uh, number of columns of first matrix and number of rows of second matrix are equal, so matrix, here matrix multiplication is possible and the result matrix order is 2 by 3. Okay, now we we'll start how to find the product of these matrices. It is 1, 2, 3, 1 into 
5141-13. Okay, you know the rule. First row, first column. First we select the first row. Then multiply with each column. Multiply the ID. Corresponding elements multiply the ID. Okay, first row, first column. That is 1 into 5. Plus 2, second, second, 2 into 1. Now, first row, second column, that is 1 into 1 plus 2 into corresponding minus 1. And first row, third is 1 into 4 plus 2 into 3. Okay? Okay, first row is finished. First row, you see each column multiply the ID. Now, we select the second row. Then, starting again, first column, second column, third column. First row, second, sorry, first column. Now, start, sorry, second row, first column. That is 3 into 5 plus 1 into 1. Again, second row, second column. 3 into 1 plus 1 into minus 1. Again, second row, third column. 3 into 4 plus 1 into 3. Now, adding these terms, we get the answer. 5 plus 2 is 7. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. 4 plus 6 is 10. Uh, 15 plus 1 is 16. 3 minus 1 is 2. 12 plus 3 answer is 15. And therefore, the required matrix order is 2 by 3. That's all. This is a, uh, uh, is a multiplication of these two matrices. Okay. Now, we discuss one more question. Suppose A is equal to 1 minus 1, 0, 3. Our question is find a square. How to find a square? A square means that not right here. You write a square, you 1, 1, 0, 9 is not right answer. A square means a into a. That means here a corresponds to matrix is 1 minus 1, 0, 3. Into again a corresponds to 1 minus 1, 0, 3. You know, the order of this matrix 2 by 2 is also 2 by 2, and therefore, number of columns and number of rows are equal, and the product matrix order is 2 by 2 also. So, multiplication is possible. Now, we uh, start the multiplication. First row, first of all, is like first row, then multiply with each column. Multiply add here. That is first row, first column. 1 into 1, you know, answer is 1. That will be right. 1 into 1 plus minus 1 into 0 is 0. Then first row or second column, 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 plus second corresponding second element product answer is minus 3. Okay, first row finish. Now we select the second row, then multiply with the first column. 0 into 1 is 0, 3 into 0 is 0. Again, 0 into minus 1 is 0, and 3 into 3 is 9. And therefore, we get the answer 1, minus 4, 0, and 9. That's all. Okay, now we'll discuss some more question based on this type of multiplication. Now, A is equal to 0, 2, minus 1, 3, 1, 0, 5, 4. B is equal to 1, 3, 2, 1, 1, 5, 1, 3, 0, 3, 1, 1, and 0, 2, 2. Find A. You know the order of this matrix is 2 by 4. It's also 4 by 3. And therefore the second matrix order is 2 by 3. That is A into B. 0, 2, minus 1, 3. 1, 0, 5, 4. Into 1, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 0, 2, 2. Is equal to. You see matrix multiplication, first row, first column, 0 into 1, 2 into 1, minus 1 into 3, 3 into 0. First row, first column, finish. Now first row, multiply with the second and third column, multiply the idea, 0 into 3, 3, 0, plus 2, minus 1, plus 6. Then 0 into 2 is 0, 2 into 1 is 2. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1, 3 into 2 is plus 6. Then you select second row, first column, 1 into 1 is 1, 0 into 1 is 0, 5 into 3 is 15, 4 into 0 is 0. 
In second row, second column, 3 into 1, 3, 1 into 0, 5 into 1, plus 8. Then second row, last column, we get answer 2, plus 0, plus 5, plus 8. Now, add this name, we get answer 2 minus 3 is minus 1. 2 plus 6, 8 minus 1 is 7. 2 minus 1, 1 plus 6, and 3 is 7. 15 plus 1 is 16. 3 plus 5, 8 plus 8 is 16. 10 plus 5, that is 15. And the order is, we get answer 2 by 3. The certain matters order is 2 by 3. That's all. It's a very simple portion. But we uh, understand the how to multiply that. A uh, uh, concept clear here. Okay. And we will discuss some extra questions based on the multiplication beyond the next class. We will get some more problem based on this topic beyond the soon class. Okay, that's all. Bye.